So today we're headed up to a new place. I've actually had permission to this place for a long time, but I've been told there's no home sites up here. It's just an old road that passes over the mountain and it's lined by stone walls. And I guess there might be some field stone walls out here somewhere. Um, but as far as I know, there's no home sites, so I've been putting it off. I just got word that they're gonna be logging up here in a couple weeks. And that if I wanna get in, I've gotta do it now because of, I don't know, insurance or liability or something. They can't have people up here. So uh, that's where we are today. So the plan is to walk some of these stone walls. Maybe we'll come across a home site. I'm not counting on it. Um, we're gonna just walk the walls and see if maybe we can find some stuff along the way. I assume there were pastors up here, so maybe people working in the fields dropped a few things. We'll see, we'll see what we find. We still got a ways to go. <laughs> We're still uh, making our way up and we're in this little bit of a clearing here right next to this little brook and check this out we've just got loads and loads of blackberry bushes in here this is awesome they're wild they're not going to be perfect berries that you'd buy at the supermarket but um, out here we have wild raspberries blackberries and black raspberries these are blackberries Let's see if we can find a nice ripe one. This one isn't too bad. Oh, there's a bunch in here. Look at this. Yeah, we got a little handful here. They taste great. This time of year, when I was little, my parents and I would go out and um, pick these, fill bags and freeze them for the winter. And we had a, a dog. I've never heard of any other dog doing this, but it would reach its head into the pricker bushes and take a big bite and rip off a bunch of berries. <laughs> Crazy. All right, we're gonna keep on walking. We're almost there. got to find at least one of these every trip out and uh, this is actually a pretty old one it appears to be pewter oh yeah look at it. it's got that it's got that design down in there at the base yeah that's an old pewter spoon well that is uh, <laughs> morale boosting all right well who knows what we can find on this road I didn't really expect it to be that old up here but clearly it is all right, it's a good first find. Let's keep going. Well, I was just walking along the wall, detecting, and I just saw the butt of this bottle sticking out. And I don't think it's incredibly old. It's purple, which happens uh, when it's been in the sun for a long time. So I'm hoping it's old. I'm hoping it's not broken. <laughs> We're gonna very slowly try to get this out of here. And, uh, Hope that it's not like a uh, Coors Light from 2002. All right, here it comes. Well, it does appear to be old. I'm not sure how old. J.C. Byers, 1882, North Hoosick, New York. We got here on the back. This bottle is not to be sold. I guess we got to keep it then. <laughs> That's awesome. It looks like an old soda bottle. I don't know if 1882 is the year that it was made or um, that they were founded, you know, but uh, that's an awesome find. I wonder if there's more around here. This is a dumpy area. We're gonna, we're gonna look around, and uh, if I don't find anything else, I'm just gonna move on, but geez, that's a good find. I'm happy with that. Let's keep going. We got a really nice solid 80 here. Might be pretty close to the surface, let's see. Nope. Oh, the P 
appears as though we got it out. Oop. Is this it? Nice. A copper. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's see if we can get a ID. Been in some wet soil here, so not optimistic. Let me get a toothbrush. Oh, I can just barely make out a right-facing bust right there. Nice, I think that's a Drake Bust Large Set. Wow, that's plenty old. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Drake Bust Large Set. Beautiful. You know, it's probably 50-50 these coppers come out looking like this. Um, but you can't complain. That's an amazing piece of history. You know, it's a 200-year-old coin, maybe more. Beautiful. All right, let's keep going. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can find another one. Spider webs. Uh, so I'll just walking along detecting, and uh, I came up to this big, beautiful tree right on the stone wall. Doesn't that look like the perfect place to hide some gold coins or Spanish doubloons? What do you think? Should I swing my metal detector in there? Nah, we'll leave it. Probably not, right? Just kidding. I already did. There's nothing there. <laughs> Let's keep going. Alright, well, so far today we found a pretty good assortment of buttons for so far. Kind of kind of a domed one here, and these are two probably early 1800s uh, brass buttons. And I just found another one, and it's a style that I don't find too often. It's got four holes in it. Let's see, does it have writing? Well, yeah, it's got a ton of writing on the back. Let's check that out. All right, well, it looks like we have a little bit of a mystery on our hands here. <laughs> Up at the top, it looks like A-P-P-A-N-T-E. Uh, and, I f and I look at the bottom here, and it says not to, and the last three letters look like something U-T or V-T. D don't know, but uh, it's going to give me something to research, which I love doing. And, you know, I was just thinking, this was probably an underwear button. And uh, I have to imagine if, if we went back and told the original owner of this that somebody was going to be excited researching their underwear buttons, uh, I'm sure they wouldn't know what to think. <laughs> but uh, whatever, I think it's cool. All right, we're going to keep going and uh, see if we can find some more stuff. All right, I've just got a beautiful target here. 80. 80. Let's see here. There it is. That looks a whole lot like a copper coin. A hussum. What could this be? Wow, there's a whole bunch of writing on this side. Oh yeah. yeah maybe you can see that. That is a Drake Bust Large set. I can actually see the date. I don't know if you can make that out at the bottom. It's 1800. Just missed the 1700s. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. We'll throw this in the bag and see if we can find more. All right. Well, I just pulled this out. It's iron, I believe. And it looks like this is a little ring. And uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's lots of folks out there more knowledgeable in horse tack than I am, but I believe this is a bit of some kind. Looks like maybe there was a ring down at this end, and there's the ring here. I think this is a bit for horses, but uh, please let me know. For now, I'm going to call it a mystery item, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a bit. All right, let's keep going. We're going to try to sneak up on a turkey. There goes one.
There he goes. I'm always amazed when those things can get off the ground. <laughs> I've spooked a lot of turkeys. I've never heard one chatter like that on the way up. It's funny. All right, let's keep going. Well, uh, you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. I was up here hunting, deer hunting, maybe, I guess it was eight years ago, before I started metal detecting. And I lost something, and I think I just found it on the stone wall. I must have been sitting here eating a sandwich or something. And it's a leather strap, and it's got like a keychain on the end. I was kind of using it like a lanyard, and I lost it. And I think I just found it again. We'll see. Uh, you can see the way the, the leaves are. This hasn't been messed with. I'm going to pull it out. And if it is mine, it has a big, uh, well, it used to be silvery colored keychain on the end. Let's see. There it is. That's mine. How funny is that? Luckily, I didn't have... Uh, any keys on it at the time. Well, I'm glad I found that. That's hilarious. It's been sitting there for a long time. I actually did come up maybe once or twice looking for this thing because this keychain on the on the end is kind of an expensive gift from my wife. And uh, I didn't even tell her I lost it. I found it again. I've got it again. All right, let's keep going. Well, uh, I haven't been showing them because we're on, a, we're on a road, or we're next to a road. And this is about the fifth one I found. <laughs> but we got another horseshoe. Which, you know, makes sense. This was their mode of transportation back then. Um, not only were they using them to do work, but um, they were getting pulled by them or riding on top of them to get where they wanted to go. So, it makes sense it's here. It's pretty cool. We're going to keep going, see if we can find something a little less iron. <laughs> All right, well, I think we just found another coin. It rang up like a button, so I didn't film the beginning of it here. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's see if we can get any detail off of it here. Man, I don't know. It is pretty rough. All right, well, I just worked on this for maybe uh, 10 minutes. I scratched bunch of the, the uh, corrosion off. I never spray these with water, but I did. Still didn't help. Um, it is just as smooth as can be, but it's definitely a coin. I'm gonna guess a uh, colonial state coin or perhaps a British George coin. And this was <laughs> circulated and carried in pockets right up until the end of its life because it is smooth. But that's still very, very exciting. Let's keep looking. So uh, it's nothing spectacular, but I th always think this is kind of cool. This is just a brass rivet in uh, a piece of leather. And look how much leather is still here. I have to assume it's of the same time period as the coins we're finding. And it always blows me away that the leather that they were creating back then can last in the ground for so long. Just the fact that it still exists is crazy to me. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw this in the bag and uh, keep going. Alright, well, uh, you might not be able to tell, but it's been all day. <laughs> I came out here at 9 o'clock and it's probably 3 now. And uh, I'm tired of walking. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so we're going to call it a day. But it was... Uh, unexpectedly fantastic day. We didn't find any home sites, but we did find lots of buttons, a couple spoons, and a few coins, which I was, to be quite honest, I wasn't expecting, um, but I am very excited that we did. So let's, let's check out what we found today. All right, so uh, we did find 11 buttons, which is incredible. <laughs> 
uh, for just wandering around. We found uh, an underwear button and this pewter button. This button in particular is kind of interesting. You can see that how brittle it was. It's very, very old. And uh, there's a piece of iron sticking out the face, which is actually the shank. Never really seen anything quite like that. And it looks like maybe there was a starburst pattern around that. Kind of interesting. We have our, uh, our mystery iron item, um, and I'm sure somebody who knows about horse tack can enlighten me exactly what that is. We have two pieces of spoon here. They're both pewter. They don't go to each other. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that this little disc right here would have initials or something on it, but unfortunately it's blank. Our bottle, which is, you know, you see how purple it is. It's been in the sunshine for who knows how long. Um, in North Hoosick, New York, I wouldn't necessarily call that local, but um, it's certainly not, uh, not on the other side of the country. So that's pretty cool. And finally, we have three copper coins down here. These two are Drape Bust Large Cents. One of them, actually the one that's in worse condition, uh, I could read as 1800. This one I haven't had a chance to uh, be able to identify the date. And this one in the back, who knows? It's probably a George coin, a uh, British halfpenny. Maybe the third, maybe the second, hard to say. Um, if I'm able to get it cleaned up, I will let you know what it is. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get up to this area until probably next year. I don't actually know how long logging operations last, to be quite honest with you, so um, I don't know when it is we'll be able to get back up. But I'm gonna put it uh, on the top of my list. I'm looking forward to it, and I'll probably keep bugging the owner. <laughs> asking if they're done yet. So I had fun. I hope you did too. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.